Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how I made this 44 gallon drum into a fire pit. I'm not very good at welding, but let's do it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new here and you like this kind of video, please hit that subscribe button. Also, a thumbs up if you like these kind of builds. I bought a 44 gallon drum off Facebook Marketplace for $20, which is already cut in half. And the steel I used cost about $20 and the paint was $12. So all up these materials were only about 50 Aussie dollars. So for my American friends, it cost around $35. Give or take the exchange rate. The steel I got was 30 by 30 angle. I firstly measured the long side and then the short side, added about 100 millimeters to those lengths and cut those four pieces. At this stage, I really wish I'd bought a metal cutoff saw. It would have made this about 600 times easier about 600 times faster. Ah oh, well. Once I got my four pieces, I brought back the 44 gallon drum face down and slid the angle right under the lip to form my rough rectangle. From this position, I marked the 45 degree miter joins and cut them with the grinder one side at a time. As you'll find out later, I was quite inaccurate, but that's okay. Since I'm welding, I can fill the gaps and grind it back to smooth. I was using a segmented diamond cutting blade for my cuts. It was great as it didn't even dull at all, but it was so slow, so I swapped it for a normal cutting disc. This is a great time to remember, make sure you wear your safety gear, especially safety glasses, because these throw so many sparks and you don't want something in your eye, trust me. After that, I got my clamp and I clamped that one edge. This will make the welding process a little bit easier. For welding, I'm using a gasless MIG welder. And as from the name, you can tell it uses no gas, which means the wire has flux in it, which shields it. The size of wire I'm using is 0.09 millimeters. It is a good general size for projects like this. As I said earlier, I'm new to welding. So if anyone has any tips or tricks, especially on wire feed rates and amperage, please leave a comment. It's so hard to find good information online. The first thing I did was like tack weld the corners with the drum inside to get the exact size. You might be wondering what's that blue spray bottle. It's any splatter spray. And since I'm using gasless wire, it helps prevent a lot of the splatter which makes the welds cleaner and also there are a lot less sparks to burn holes through your legs. I then removed the drum, flipped the frame and welded up my unnecessarily large gaps I caused from my terrible grinding. I know I said it before, but if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And for everyone who says I can't weld, don't worry, I know. <laughs> I've got another half of my 44 gallon drum, so I'm sure that one will be a little bit better. The next thing I did is I grinded my outside edges flat, so when I put my legs on, the welds weren't in the way. And to do this, I'm using a 60 grit flap disc. Next time, I'll probably get a 40 grit flap disc, just to make it a little bit quicker. The next thing I did is I cut four legs at 450 millimeters. That's the average height of a coffee table. And I thought that would look great. The next thing I did was weld the legs onto the outside of my frame, making sure that they were straight. The next thing I did is I dropped my 44 gallon drum back into the frame and did a few tack welds to keep it in place. I then measured the distance in between the legs and cut two rails to support the drum. After making sure that they were level, I welded those in place as well. I decided on the fly to support the drum a little bit more, so I added a piece of angle in between the rails long ways. I had to trim the edges about 5mm so the angle would touch the drum. I then welded it to the rails and also the 44 gallon drum itself. I flipped the fire pit back over and started to do my final welds, making sure there weren't any gaps. I'm pretty happy with the strength of this so far, I tested it out and it doesn't move at all. I got out my flap disc and I made sure everything was nice and smooth all the way around the top. So I was going to leave this bare steel, but I decided to paint it. Now the paint I had to use was a high temp paint. This paint is specially designed to deal with super high heats, so this paint would work great with my fire pit. I didn't paint the inside as I didn't know how the paint would react with the naked flame. Overall I'm really happy with this fire pit, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.